Hey, what's up everybody? I wanted to do a quick discussion of the Avengers in-game re-release with extra footage. Um, first question is probably, was it worth it? Somebody even asked me this on the way out. So I got a free poster out of this. Um, it's the Iron Man with the stones, Iron Man gauntlet with the stones in it. It's pretty cool. Um, I, I actually showed up halfway through the movie just because it's my eighth or ninth time watching the movie. Um, I showed up just before they jump to... By the way, there's spoilers, okay? Um, just before they jump into uh, the 1970s. Um, for me, it was worth it. Again, I didn't sit through three hours. Um, I just wanted to get to the end. I, I And you know what? It I don't know if there were a lot of people who had never seen the movie because there were people crying. This is like over a... a, a it's about a month since it was, was released. There were people crying and laughing and cheering, like, ooh. I'm like, wow, are these people watching it for the first time? So I, I like that. I like the audience reactions that we're still getting that. Um, yeah, a lot of laughs and cheers and tears. Um, so that made it worth it. I, I, I'd, I'd say yes. If you're an Avengers fan, it's worth it. Obviously, if you're not a big movie fan, it's not. If you've never seen it, it's definitely worth it. Go see it now. Um, it's good to see it again. I'm going to go see Spider-Man on Monday at midnight. But anyway, uh, spoilers. So the three scenes. Um, first, uh, one of the Russo brothers, the one with the glasses, uh, starts talking at the end. And he's like, oh, here's some extra footage for you guys. So they do a tribute to Stan Lee, which is really nice. Um, and it says, we love you 3,000 after it plays. And it also says, we love you 3,000 at the bottom of the poster of the Iron Man gauntlet. Uh, then there's a there's an extra scene with the Hulk rescuing some people from a burning building, um, which I have no idea where that would have gone. Um, yeah, I have no clue where that scene would have gone. Um, it, it had the it had Reginald so and so the the guy from Family Matters and he was in Die Hard. It looked a lot like that movie, but um, what's odd is the 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 crude rendering of Hulk he had on the like that purple suit thing. Um, so I don't know where that even, you know, maybe that would have gone, um, right before the scene where, uh, where they meet him at the cafe. I, I don't know. Um, but anyway, um, <clears throat> that, there was that scene also, and then there was a scene from, uh, Far From Home, where Nick Fury and, uh, Maria Hill uh, pull up in Mexico oddly and I for a second I got really excited that was gonna be a new hero but it's just Mysterio and some uh, earth creature comes jumps out of the ground he's like you guys don't want any part of this which you see in the trailers um, so that's kind of the spoiler so now I know that's in Mexico um, I don't know is Mysterio supposed to be a Mexican I never knew because Jake Gyllenhaal is not <coughs> anyway uh, yeah, I would say if you're a big Avengers fan, go see it. I, it was worth it for me. Plus, you get the cool poster. Um, these posters, I don't hang them up on my wall. I just kind of collect them. And when I move into a bigger place, I may consider putting them up. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I'd say go check it out if you're a big, big Marvel nerd. Um, like, I said, like I said, it was my eighth or ninth time watching the movie. Um, so go check it out, okay? All right. Bye.